Hello Virgo, Sun Rising, and Venus, and welcome to another reading. Let's see the overall energy between you and the person you're connecting with or will be connecting with for Virgo, Sun Rising, and Venus. Okay, Virgo, we do have reconciliation. Someone from your past is returning to your life. And then we also have new love. This does kind of feel like somebody wants to start over here with you, Virgo. Now, keep in mind, this can totally be vice versa, where you want to start over with someone in particular, uh, somebody that you have a lot of history with. Let's see what's going on, though. We're going to focus on you first, and then we'll jump over to your person. Just keep in mind, you might find yourself resonating more so with the person to the right of me than you do with the person to the left of me. And that's okay. Sometimes that actually happens. So just kind of pick and choose who you resonate more so with. How does... Um, Okay. How does Virgo currently... No, that was quick. That was really quick. We have the sun. We also have the three of cups. And then we also have the judgment card. You could be dealing with a Leo strongly, possibly a Cancer, maybe even a Scorpio. Doesn't necessarily have to be the case, though. How does this person currently view this relationship? We have the lovers, interesting. I do want to clarify this nine of swords, but we do have the nine of swords for them as well. And then we also have the five of wands for them. And then we have the two of cups. And then we also have the queen of swords. Now, the fact that we have the three of cups to the judgment card out here, this does scream like a reconciliation that's taking place here between you and somebody that you have a lot of history with. And for the most part, Virgo, I feel like you're pretty happy about this reconciliation here that's taking place between you and this queen of swords over here now for some of you you could be dealing with another virgo because the queen of swords it represents virgo and libra energy so you could be dealing with another virgo possibly even a libra it doesn't necessarily have to be the case though but you're you're basically reconciling here with a queen of swords and it's somebody that you have a lot of history with however However, okay we do have the nine of swords and then we also have the five of wands here um I kind of feel like a lot of stuff has kind of went down within this relationship that you share with this Queen of Swords, and they haven't necessarily forgotten about it. Let's just say that. Let's just say that. They're still kind of holding on to something that happened here between you and them in the past. Um, the fact that this person is choosing to give this relationship a second chance all over again, it is kind of in a way reminding this person of something that happened between you and them in the past i also kind of feel like this person has a massive fear that it might even happen again so let's say for perfect example in the past for perfect example not saying that you did this virgo let's just say for perfect example you cheated on this person in the past and here they are giving you a second chance they might have a massive fear that you might cheat on them again not saying that you did cheat on them you know just keep that in mind i'm just throwing that out there as an example but yeah um i, I kind of feel like although this person is choosing to give you a second chance here because they love you and because they care about you they're very fearful that whatever happened here between you and them in the past might just happen again, whether that be lying, uh, cheating, whatever have you, right? Because everybody's situation is going to be different, um, but they're definitely worried, definitely worried. How does this person currently feel? We have the Eight of Pentacles, interesting, with the Justice card. And then we also have the Four of Cups. At the bottom of the deck, we do have the Nine of Wands. Like I said, this person's really worried that history might repeat itself here within this dynamic here between you and them. And it has a lot to do with something that happened in the past here uh, while the two of you were essentially together. With the Four of Cups being out here, I gotta be honest, I kind of feel like this is their overall energy here. Still very much so hung up on something that happened here between you and them in the past. And the fact that they're letting you back into their life it's coming from a place of them really loving you, re them really wanting to be with you, but at the same exact time, they also feel like they're kind of putting themselves in that position to possibly get let down and or hurt by you all over again. And if it's resonating vice versa, then it is. Maybe Virgo, you're choosing to let somebody back into your life who let you down, disappointed you, betrayed you, and or deceived you in some way, shape, or form. Um, and here you are basically finding yourself worried that you could very well be putting yourself in that position to go through that same experience all over again with this person. So just keep that in mind because it could totally be vice versa. With the Justice card to the Eight of Pentacles, I gotta be honest, I don't feel like this is their overall energy. I feel like this is something that they're actually acknowledging from someone, which I do feel like it is you, Virgo. You're trying to make things right here between you and this person. You are, and that's something that they are acknowledging. That's one thing that I will say. They're definitely acknowledging that. However, they still can't quite seem to 
get rid of this overwhelming feeling of what if Virgo does it again? You know, it does kind of have that feel to it, Virgo. Let's look at your person. I mean, not your person. Let's look at you, Virgo. How does Virgo currently view? I mean, not view. How does Virgo currently feel? Come on, man. What's going on? Get it together. Get it together. We have the Knight of Pentacles. We also have the Fool. And then we also have the Five of Pentacles. And then we also have the Nine of Cups. Like I said, Virgo, you know, this reconciliation that's taking place here between you and this Queen of Swords, I feel like you're extremely happy about it. Um, this is like an overall energy of you essentially finally feeling like things are finally starting to kind of... Um, go your way especially when it comes down to your relationship with this uh queen of swords over here but like i said and i was already kind of getting that i do kind of feel like you're really trying your hardest to make things right here between you and this uh queen of swords which we already kind of picked up on but things are definitely playing out in your favor as of right now i just kind of feel like you're so ready to kind of leave whatever happened here between you and this person in the past and just kind of focus more so on the present moment um and work on your relationship from this point on but i gotta be honest even though you're ready virgo to let go of whatever happened here between you and this person in the past and do things the right way this time around you just have to kind of take into consideration that they haven't necessarily let go of whatever um, took place here between you and them in the past. What actions? That was quick. We have the Four of Swords. We also have the Ten of Swords. And then we also have the um, Queen of Cups. What actions? Okay, here we go. Let's do this. We have the Ace of Swords. We got the Ten of Swords, and then we have the Page of Pentacles. Hmm. At the bottom of the deck, we do have the Judgment card, and then we also have the Devil. So let's let's talk about this, Virgo. Like I said, when it comes down to this queen that you currently find yourself connecting with, they're still hung up on something that you did in the past, okay? Whether that be lying, cheating, whatever the case may be, because everybody's situation is going to be different, okay? Okay. They're still very much so hung up on it. They haven't necessarily moved past it. Granted, they are acknowledging the fact that you are trying to make things right with them this time around and you're ready to kind of leave the past in the past and just basically start over with this person, right? But it's not that simple for this queen in particular because they spend a lot of time dwelling on what you did and they're spending a lot of time yes dwelling on what you did but they're having a very difficult time moving past it and forgiving you for whatever it is that you did because this person has like this massive fear that they're just putting themselves in that position to get hurt and disappointed and let down by you all over again because it all it has already happened in the past so what makes this time so different that's kind of how they're looking at this entire situation they're looking at it and i swear you could be dealing with another virgo they're looking at this entire situation from a very logical and realistic sort of standpoint um because you let them down in the past the likelihood of you possibly doing that again is very very possible and that's what's basically lingering in the back of this person's mind um and it is kind of causing this person a way to really second guess themselves and what they're even doing here when it comes down to even giving you a second chance with the ace of swords to the ten of swords to the page of pentacles i gotta be honest um I do kind of feel like this person is starting to kind of realize that maybe just maybe this relationship between you and them is just not for them because they can't quite seem to move past whatever it is that you did in the past. And I do feel like it is something that you owned up to. It's something that you apologized for um, already to this person in particular. But unfortunately, it just kind of looks like by you owning up to whatever it is that you did in the past or you even apologizing for it, it's just not enough to free this person from what you basically did to them. Hopefully that makes sense here. We have the Four of Swords, we also have the Ten of Swords, and then we also have the Queen of Cups. See, this is kind of like an overall energy of you wanting this person to the right of me to basically forgive you for whatever it is that you did in the past you know you do have this full understanding that you were basically wrong for whatever it is that you did and you want them to forgive you for that and move past that because you're so ready to move past it and start over and start fresh with this person but i gotta be honest virgo it's just not that simple for this person it's just not that simple because the past is still very much so haunting this person granted they love you granted you know you mean a great deal to them but 
whatever it is that you did in the past, it's still haunting them or whatever it is that they did to you Virgo you know it's still very much so haunting you to the point where as much as you may love this person as much as you may care for this person as much as you see that they're trying to make things right with you it, it's kind of hard it's kind of hard for you to fully give in like you once upon a time did because now this person has already installed this fear within you um that you know it's causing you to not feel so safe and secure within this relationship it's causing you to second guess this person it's causing you to second guess yourself and the relationship relationship that you guys share with one another so Virgo as much as you may want this person to forgive you which is something that I highly recommend they do either which way regardless if you guys choose to continue to work on this relationship or not it's something that they do need to essentially work on as far as forgiving you for whatever it is that you did is concerned because if they don't unfortunately they're just going to carry this around with them unfortunately into the next relationship and we don't want that right um it just kind of looks like you want this person to just find it in their heart to forgive you for whatever it is you did to them, right? Because here you are really trying to start over with this person. Here you are trying to do things the right way with this person in particular. But it's one of those situations, dude, where it, it truly is easier said than done here. I want to see the outcome between the two of you. Let's do that real quick. Let's do that. All right. What's the outcome between Virgo and the person to the right of me? Yeah. Um, I don't necessarily see this entire situation coming to an end here between you and this person. Granted, you know, this person to the right of me is kind of at that reach that at that point, right, of wanting to kind of give up because they can't quite seem to move past whatever it is that you did to them, right? But the reason why I say I don't necessarily feel like this relationship is coming to an end here between you and this person because of this overall energy, which I do feel like it's this person to the right of me that I'm picking up on. With the Four of Cups to the Seven of Cups, this is literally them sitting back, basically thinking about all of the things you basically put them through and having a very difficult time moving past it and letting it go. With the Two of Pentacles to the Seven of Pentacles, this is them trying to kind of look at the brighter side of things, so to speak. Like, granted, you are trying to work things out with them. You are trying to make things right with them. And they're trying to hold on to that too. But if you even look at the cards alone, it's, it kind of looks like the bad is starting to kind of outweigh the good here for this person in particular. And it's just something that you need to be aware of, Virgo. Um, because it does kind of look like the bad is starting to kind of outweigh the good here, at least for this person to the right of me. So I don't feel like this relationship is coming to an end. I just kind of feel like the more this person continues to invest time and energy into this relationship, the more they're starting to kind of realize like, man, like this does kind of, you know, feel like the good is really outweighing the bad here. And then, you know, that's when we kind of see this person really second guessing themselves and what they're doing here. Um, now, keep in mind, Virgo, this really does kind of all fall on this person to the right of me. They're either going to try to move past everything that you put them through and try to give this relationship, you know, a, a fair chance this time around, or they're not, you know, there's, there's no real other way around this. I mean, the ball is technically in this person's court here. Um, they honestly get to decide if this is something that they want to continue to be a part of or not. Um, granted, I'm not going to take away from you the fact that you're really trying to make things right here with this person, but you know, this is somebody who comes off to me as somebody who has a very difficult time moving past whatever it is that you did in the past. And because they're having a very difficult time with that, it's it's really causing this person to consider if it's just time for them to kind of walk away from this entire situation and never look back. Although I don't see them, you know, severing ties with you, Virgo. Um, it's something that they're definitely considering. Um, that's one thing that I will say. And like I said, all of this can totally be vice versa. Any advice for Virgo in regards to this spread? We have release your ex, and then we also have make the effort. Uh, release your ex, it's, it's very similar to the Ten of Swords in Tarot, and that one with make the effort is very similar to the Eight of Pentacles in Tarot. It's just basically encouraging you 
to not give up on this person to the right of me, but it's also trying to get you to understand too, Virgo, that there, there's a lot of pain that's being felt on this person's behalf. There's a lot of dwelling also going on when it comes down to something that you did in the past that created a lot of pain here for this person. It has now caused this person to not feel so safe and secure with you. And that's something that you have to acknowledge. That's something that you have to understand because the thing is, is that as much as I see you putting time, energy, and effort into turning things around here between you and this person, you know, you can't really expect this person to just let it go and just forgive you and just move forward because it's a process. It's basically what it's trying to tell you. It's definitely a process. So this entire situation, it requires you to be patient. It requires you to be understanding. If you continue to put time, energy, and effort towards trying to turn things around here, trying to come from a more compassionate, understanding place here, things can definitely uh, turn out in your favor here. But this is not going to be an overnight thing. You know, that's one thing that I will say. The potential for the two of you to get back to a really good place with one another, it's definitely there, but a lot of work needs to take place because a lot of things, unfortunately, have went down here and it's going to take a lot of time and it's going to take a lot of work until you guys reach this point within your relationship with one another where things are back to normal. Things are feeling good all over again, but right now... It's just going to take a lot of patience, a lot of work, a lot of compassion, and a lot of understanding from you, all right? So that's what I have for you, Virgo. Hopefully the reading helped. Hopefully it resonated. Also, too, for those of you who want to follow me on Instagram, it is linked in the description box down below. Good luck to the both of you moving forward, and I will see you guys in your next reading. Bye.